Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the episode of Fish Day TX. Tonight guys, we are out on Lake Austin getting ready to do some night fishing, something I've been doing all summer. And up to this point, I've actually not made a video out of it, but that is what we are doing here tonight guys. Going out, hitting up all these dock lights. We're gonna try and catch a wide variety of fish, mainly white bass and hybrids, along with some largemouth. And sometimes we catch drum, bluegill, wide variety of fish species. But like I said guys, I've been doing this all summer and I've caught some really, really nice fish as you'll see in this video. I'm gonna start off with actually some clips that I started filming about a month, month and a half ago, and we're gonna progressively work our way up. So many nice fish catches, a couple really nice sized bass, as you'll see as well, and a really nice one that I let get away. So lots of highs, lots of loads. The night fishing has been insane on Lake Austin, and I'm hoping we have another insane night here tonight. So like I said, guys, I'm gonna start you guys off with some clips from a few months ago, and then work our way back to tonight. The video might be a little bit chaotic and all over the place, but it's all good. I just want you guys to see all these clips I've been filming. Tonight, the main goal is A, to catch some fish. It's been a little while since we've been out here, but also try to get redemption on a big one. I've got a lot of big swim baits and bigger spoons tied on to try and get a big bass. We've already caught a few big bass so far this summer in the lights. Tonight, looking to get some redemption on one that I lost about a month ago. So with that, folks, we're gonna get to fishing and we're gonna see if we can make things happen. We're gonna start you guys off some clips from a little while ago. We'll work our way into tonight. First, oh gosh, they're crushing it. First light of the night. There we go, white bass on. There we go, first white bass. Oh, he's off. No. First fish hooked of the night. Dang it, popped off quick, but there's a good amount of white bass here. I think I'll be on again pretty quickly. Oh, golly. All right, there's a lot of white bass here. Oh my God, he crushed it and missed it. Didn't get it. They're crushing it. There's one. Got him. There we are. Oh, it's a large map, I think. Yeah, it's a largey. <laughs> First fish today, though. Or the night, I should say. Fish numero uno on the evening. I can't tell if that's a bluegill, a large mouth, or a white bass. There's something. Yeah, bluegill. Yeah, I had a feeling I was getting bit by bluegill. Number two. There's a white, like they're underneath the boats. I guess I could try to like dock the boat and get up in there. I could try that. I just don't really know how I'm gonna fight a fish in there. Like if I actually hook a decent size one, it's probably just gonna break me off. a large mouth jesus it's a large mouth oh my god solid largey off the light number two in the night solid one off the light like a two pounder see you buddy oh, oh no that was a big fish but that was a large mouth for a white bass that was a big fish and we got him and we got him Oh, this is a large mouth. Oh, dang it. That was a large mouth. That was another like two pound large mouth. <laughs> trying to pull them out under the jet skis. That's so nuts. Where did go over there? Oh, another fish. Another fish. Oh, no. He was hooked on this crankbait. <laughs> Jesus. Oh wait, no, there's there's a there's a bobber here and I got stuck on the bobber and my fish got stuck and he came off. <laughs> That's annoying. So no, I, I caught that fish, but there's a line here and it got stuck on the line. I'll count that one because I got him out of the water. There's a fish. No, it's a drum. Yo! Is that a drum? Or is it a white bass? There's a drum. Another drum. All right, let's get Big Ugly back before he spikes the crap out of my hand. All right, 
We're gonna head to the next light. Good first light, good, good first light. Four fish in total, three largemouth, biggest being about a two and a half pounder. Good success, we're having good good success right now. Just a little frustrated speedboats as usual, just people. Very much so frustrate me, I'll just say that. They make life very difficult as a fisherman trying to fish on these lakes. I don't understand why they're still out here in the middle of the night, but it is what it is. We're gonna move on to the next spot and hopefully catch ourselves some more white bass. There's some fish sitting right there, there's a bluegill. Yep, okay. A white bass right on the light. Hopefully, there's a lot of them. I see a couple of them though, right now. Oh, he went and just crushed it. That was so sick. Yes, sir. Is it a largey again? I think it's a largey. I cannot tell because I forgot my headlamp. We don't know what we got until we turn the light on. Uh, no, it is, a, it is a white bass. Cool. Number five on the night, first white bass. There he goes. Still seems like there's a decent amount of activity in the light. I mean, that fish, I saw him swimming around the light. Oh my God. Just crushed it. Is it a largemouth? Good grief, I think it's a largemouth. <laughs> That's a nice large mouth. Holy cow. He crushed it. It's probably like a three pounder. Number six on the evening. Probably about a two and a half pounder. Absolutely inhaled it. This fish crushed it. Look how fat he is. That is crazy for summertime. These fish are definitely eating well. Eating a lot of bait fish off these lights. See you later, buddy. They were not biting well during the daylight, which is not totally surprising considering fishing out here is really rough right now because all the pleasure boaters and the fact that our average temperature during the day is 108 degrees. So fish aren't biting too well in this lake during the day, but my gosh, they are hungry during the night. Oh, there's a, jeez, oh, it's a big fish. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> That's a first. I've not seen a catfish on a light before. First ever catfish on a light. Saw a bunch of guard every weekend. That was a first for me. Apparently they hang out around these lights a lot though. There's one. Don't know what I got, but it is a fish. What do we got here? It is a bluegill. Fish number eight on the night. There he is. Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. He's a white. It's a good white. Jesus, dude, that is a big fish. Oh my God. Look at that fish. Yes. Stud of a white bass. Good grief. Absolute stud of a white bass. Number nine on the night. Absolutely crushed it. Great bite and five with this guy. What a toad. That's such a nice, solid fish. I wanna get a weigh on this guy because I just wanna see like how much does this kind of fish weigh? I've never actually weighed a white bass before, so I'm just curious. Oh my God, 2.5 pounds. Dude, that's a monster. That's a really solid fish. Let's see it, buddy. Oh, oh, geez. Foul hooked largemouth. Number 10 on the night. All right. We're gonna call it a night on that one right there. Heck of a night though. 10 fish overall, really solid largemouth, some really solid white bass and hybrids, I think. Caught a nice size Casper Goo, freshwater drum, caught some bluegill. Caught a little bit of everything tonight. Had a lot of fun too. Lost a couple decent sized fish, but all in all, we caught most of the solid ones. So much fun, man. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'm heading in, but we are gonna be doing this a lot more. We will be back out here again very, very soon. Alrighty folks, it's just now getting dark. First light of the night. There's some white bass on the other side. I saw two. You see him over there? You see him? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a small one, but little guys. But let's get him. Let's get him regardless. Oh, dang it, he was going for it. All right, I gotta get the boat turned around. They're not being as aggressive. Last time they're being really aggressive, but yeah. Dude, yeah, look at those white bass. Come on. Was that a fish? 
Oh, that was weird. Chasing it. Got him. Got him, boy. That. It's a big one. Get the net, get the net. That's a monster, dude. dude. Oh my god. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> Giant swim bait strikes dude, on the light. Dude, that's like a that. five. I didn't think it was that big. I thought it was like a three. As soon as you saw the big old swim bait went right after oh, it. Oh yeah, as soon as that See? landed, he instantly just turned around. So sick, folks. Look at that swim bait that's having like, its mouth. So there we are, folks. Look at that. All right, let's get a weight real fast and get him back. Four, seven, eight. Dang. Four, eight. Ooh. Four and a half, right on the dot. Solid one, guys. Four and a half pounder. Four, eight on the swim bait. Second nice bass of the year on the swim bait here in Lake Austin. Let's get her back. Off the light this time at night. So sick. God, guys, what a catch right there. So we were throwing just little jigging spoons, which while I was catching largemouth and white bass on really well earlier in the video, if you do remember, but back out here tonight, and so far they're not wanting it, but we went right over the light vertically jigging and I saw that the fish didn't look to be as much of white bass as it did largemouth. So we kind of went off a little bit, picked up the giant swim bait that works so well here, the big old glide bait. This is what I caught my biggest bass of the year out here on and two casts in. Big Mama, who was sitting right in the light, immediately saw it and crushed it. For tubing, and the other is for wakeboarding. Yeah, like water skiing. There's one. Largey. There we are. Second fish on the night. There he is, folks. Nice little one pounder. See you, buddy. Yeah, they're all on the bottom. Do you see them on here? Oh, yeah. So look at my look at my graph. See those? Oh, oh yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's off. Damn it. Oh, oh dude. You see one? No, I just got hammered again. There's no. There. Got him. I think. Yeah, I had to him. No. He was right. Oh, he was right there, bass. dude. God, that was that was a white bass. I got him to the surface that time, but just right off. Jesus. Got him. Oh, you got him. Oh, yeah. you need the net. Probably. You know how badly I've hooked him tonight. Got him. Let's go. Finally got one in the net or in the boat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that is a good white bass. Thank you, God. Finally got one hooked well enough. First good white. Oh, uh, I think it's a hybrid. Yeah, look, it's a hybrid. See how his lines are all broken oh, up? Yep. Little tiny hybrid, but we will take it. Good fight, but I'm glad to finally get one in the boat. See you, buddy. There just has to be fish in here. I don't think I've actually ever fished here before, so this is kind of cool. <laughs> this is so cool looking. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Alrighty folks, coming up on the first light of the night yet again. This is the light we caught a four and a half on a couple nights ago. We'll see what's on it tonight. If it's just white bass, we'll kind of get up on it and jig. If it's largemouth again, we'll stay back and throw the swim bait. I thought bluegill would have been hammering this thing. They'll hit it sometimes, not always. Like, there's one. <laughs> right on cue. Like, how does this little tiny fish get hooked on this? Mm, that was a big hybrid. God dang it. That was a massive hybrid. That was like a four or five pound hybrid. <sighs> There's one. Grab the nut. I don't know. Is that a hybrid or a large one? The large one? I don't know. He's not big. Oh, it's not small either, though. 
There we go. Not too bad fish for sure. Glad they got one in the boat at least. Alrighty. See you later, Mr. Hybrid. Three casts in a row. Jeez. This film is fighting good too. That was the bass. That was a six, seven pounder. Oh, that's a hard one to swallow right there. It's nothing I could have done, but. <sighs> God damn it. That was a seven pounder probably. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that's pretty devastating. I mean, there's just nothing I could have done. I did nothing wrong. I mean, just a tiny little hook. God, that sucks. He didn't even pull drag, dude. He just came straight up too. I don't even know if it knew it was hooked. I have that Art Beast roast beef number two. No fish? Yep. Another large mouth. Not nearly as big. You still need the net? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's like a, probably a two, three. Oh, Jesus, good job. That was fun. Alrighty, folks, we've made it back now to the night of when I filmed the intro. We're gonna try something a little bit different here. So we are going to fish just this cove real quickly until it gets a little bit darker. But rather than the last few times I gone out, I'm gonna try and hit the lights a lot earlier tonight. The last few times I've hit them once it was fully dark. Tonight, my goal is to try and hit them kind of right at dusk. So we still have about 10, 15 minutes until we get to that point. So we're gonna fish in here for about 10 minutes or so and then we'll go hit the first one. But I wanna see is like, it seems like for the most part, other than a couple bites, most of the best fishing on these lights comes earlier in the evening. Cause an issue I had was the fish were just being really sluggish once it got a little bit later into the night, once they'd already been eating fish and seeing bait all night, they weren't really as inclined to eat as they are earlier in the evening. So we're gonna try and hit them pretty early tonight. See how that works out for us. Uh, right away crushed it yeah third cast so i start the night off right there solid fish man he's really skinny though but i need the meal i'm sorry but hey first fish in the evening we'll take it folks fish number two see you buddy all right couple more casts and we are heading to the lights oh my god that was back to that cast dude ripped it right on off because the last time we were fishing the lights yep got them that time whoa holy cow holy cow buddy <laughs> acrobatics <laughs> my gosh awesome man already three fish been here for like maybe 10 minutes actually four fish pierce has one too Alrighty, folks already got four fish in the night that's pretty dang good considering lake austin's been fishing really tough recently we're gonna head out to the lights now a little bit later than i originally said i was going to but hey we're catching fish like that you can't leave but yeah we're heading out to the lights it's shaping up to be a really good night i'm feeling really good especially considering how we started right there Alrighty, folks we are on the first light right now already saw a white bass come up so we are in business a lot a lot of blue oh dude is that a bass that's a bass it's a good size large man it's probably a three okay he's not that big but... unless that's a different one my buddy sank right in your face and gone oh my god <sighs> nope just ate it off he didn't get the hook sick and tired of fish eating the and sank us off it's already two tonight. All right, guys, we made it to light number three in the night. I'm gonna give you guys a little update on how things are going. I'm not gonna lie, ever since our really hot start, things have kind of gone to hell in a hand basket. We got to that first spot and had that about two and a half pounder bite right away. Ripped the Senko off, never got the hook. Since then, things have been tough. Had a couple line knots and backlashes. Pierce got snagged a few times. I got snagged, a bunch of ski boats going by. Things have been hectic. And that first light, we saw some decent fish on it. There was about a four pounder and I had him follow up the swim bait. Almost got him to eat, it was really close, but no dice on it, unfortunately. 
Well, they were, we were seeing decent fish. It's just a hard dock to fish because the light's way back up in there and then most of the fish are back up on the light and it's just hard to hit because it's way underneath that boat dock. So a little more challenging and then went to another light. No luck on there. I saw a couple white bass, but couldn't give them the bite. So on the light number three now. Alrighty guys, it is next morning after fishing from last night. We're gonna get down to things here and wrap up this video. Really great video all in all, lots of great fish catches, and definitely this video was kind of an entire summer almost of me figuring out how to night fish on Lake Austin. And while I definitely still have a ways to go until I fully figure out what I'm doing out there, I'm definitely getting a better understanding of how to night fish out there and just the potential that night fishing brings for me. A, you can catch a bunch of white bass and hybrids, which are cool. It's a fish I've only started catching this year now that I have a bass boat to go catch them with but also like Austin is definitely not a good numbers leg I knew that but at the nighttime it shows that even more because you see a lot of fish you don't actually catch a ton but what is so great about it is the fact that there is a chance of a giant and while we didn't necessarily catch a giant in this video we did catch a big one almost five pounder and a couple other like solid you know two and a half three pounders the chance of not only my PB, which is anything over eight pounds, but also the chance of a double digit at night. On Lake Austin is actually a pretty legitimately good chance of doing that. Crazy enough, I actually saw a guy catch about a 10 pounder um, last night. So, I mean, they're, they're out here. I've seen them. I know they're there. We just got to get one. I mean, you know, we had a big one in this video too. We had about a seven pounder. So they're there. Just going to keep going out there and trying to get after them. You know, we'll keep giving it time. We'll keep learning, keep just throwing new lures, trying new things, hitting up new lights, new docks and areas, and just continue to experiment, continue to throw stuff and do it over and over again until I catch that fish for a lifetime that I'm chasing after. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember leave a like and subscribe to Fishing Takes. If you are new, also go follow me over on Instagram. The link to that will be down in the description below. Anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching today's video big things are to come i just can feel it i we're so close to catching a fish of a lifetime with that folks that'll about do it for things here today i will see you guys next time back out on the water